Hello, my name is Tan Sri Numas. I grew up in Thailand. I came here as an ESL student, so I came here to study English. I consider myself as an artist for um, seven years, seven to eight years. But I live, I live here in the Tenaloi at this, in this apartment for 12 years. I didn't go to art school because it was expensive. So uh, my, my purpose when I came here was not, nothing related to art. So I didn't study anything about art. I didn't have any social support. I didn't have any friends, lots of friends. So ba basically I trapped myself in this apartment. And one of my friends, he told my, my friend that there's a place called Hospitality House. It's a community arts program that people go there and make art and they provide art supplies, uh, workshops, everything's free for um, low income or for locals and artists. So I went there and checked it out and that's how I started. Uh, I used modeling compound. Basically it's like a um, powdery clay We should mix with uh, water and I add gesso or stuff like that. That's the base and then put on a, a wooden panel and once it's dry, I add one layer of colors and wait until it's dry and then can we apply another layer for five or six or more sometimes. And when it's dry, I, I do like wet sand. Sometimes I use the orbital sander to make sure that it stay. And then what color, whatever color I put in there, it will show at the end. It's like a re revealing the, the color underneath. So that's the base. And then I went out and took a photo, get some inspiration, got some image, and then rearrange the um, objects using a Photoshop and get some elements there, here and there. And then when I'm, when I'm happy, I used a laser cutting machine to etch the uh, outline for the first time. And then I bring it home and then I, I paint all the details here. And then I restand to the laser cut, uh, cutting machine again. And in the process, when I do uh, back and forth, back and forth, I also reapply color. I also do a hand carve using woodwork or tools and do a hand carve here and there. It's a combination of skills that I have learned from the past and also experiment. I work now uh, at Hospitality House Community Arts Program. So usually we have a community, community uh, meeting and that's how I knew about Muni Art. And also there's one year of Muni Art that one of the finalists, she's from China, I think. And that's well, the first time that I heard about Muni Art. And, and she's really inspired me that, oh, she can do that. So maybe I can do that. I usually do about the architectural design, street scenes, uh, city life. Uh, San Francisco, Tenderloin, and that's that's my th that's what I do. And also this year, the themes about the streets in San Francisco. So I think this is the time. So I just submit. It's more like inspirational, and also it's more like an assignment. I don't have to understand everything, but I just keep reading it over and over and over and over. Okay, and then finally I got some. Uh, elements. There's a bird here and the, uh, there's a trees and then I can just feel it. And I'm thinking of where is the place in San Francisco that fits the poem. So I look on like Google map and see that oh, maybe here, maybe there. And then I went out and take a photo. Uh, I feel good. I feel, I feel really excited. I feel like the, they saw my work and then they all agree. Ah, this artist can be one of the five. I, I really appreciate and excited that I can show my work about the tenderloin. This is a very, uh, it's awesome project. And sometimes when I stand on the bus, it's, it's very nice and pleased my eyes to, to read the poem and the painting. I don't know, it's very inspiring. And I'm excited to be part of this. It's a good opportunity for me and for other artists to be visible, <clears throat> to be seen, to be heard. You know, many of us still 
living and working in the shadows somewhere, especially poet. I work for the uh, community arts program in the Tenderloin, so I've seen so many um, homeless or low, low income or like the general people. When they go to studios and make art, some of them must surprise me with their work. This person can make great art.